Welcome to this viewing of one of our many GCAP videos. In this video, we will help explain the requirements and standards for training your industrial technicians. I'm Bobby Wild, one of the voices behind the online training program known at www.gcapcoolcast.com. In the next few minutes, we will introduce you to our state-of-the-art private technical school in Southwest Kansas and explain our hands-on training by outlining some of the important aspects of the course. Garden City Ammonia Program, known as GCAP to the industry, is one of the world's premier ammonia, natural refrigerant, and boiler programs based out of Garden City, Kansas. In the year 2010, many resources fell into place to create the first natural refrigeration training in the United States, starting with CO2 Cascade Systems. This system is a Newton 3000 built by MICOM based in Tokyo, Japan. Randy Williams, president and co-founder of the Hands-On Training at GCAP, is now proud to introduce to you the GCAP Boilers Training Division. The Boiler Division has been up and running for two years now, with the ammonia program going on its eighth year, servicing over 6,500 operators in the field. This curriculum has been built into one of the top respected industrial programs in the world. Other schools use this program to model their own from the marketing end to the instruction. Not only do university and colleges send their instructors to our facilities to ensure quality training in new startup programs, but we also train out of seven different colleges with our GCAP material and instructors. Our mission statement, enhance the technology, efficiency, safety, and educate the industrial technician through commitment and experience. Randy Williams and the CoolCast training team believes a well-trained operator should know how to demonstrate competently the maintenance and operation of the plant's equipment in the most efficient manner using knowledge and best engineering practices while keeping safety in mind. These courses are designed for anyone who needs to understand the fundamental operation of boilers in order to improve efficiency, safety, and maintenance at their industrial plants and large building facilities. Our spectrum of hands-on training is customized for the quick start with no experience to the seasoned operator with the best training material possible. History of Safety and Codes Though boiler accidents have been an unfortunate and common part of history ever since the Industrial Revolution of the 19th century, the proliferation of today's more stringent rules and regulations have helped to combat the frequency of such tragedies. Nevertheless, as the media accident illustrates, the potential for the gruesome fatalities of yesterday still exists in today's modern world. An axiom that was true 100 years ago is still true today. Disaster can strike at any time. In fact, many of the victims in the boiler accidents were not only operators, but simply people going about their daily lives. Due to the past frequency of all such tragedies, it is impossible to comprise an all-encompassing list of the worst boiler accidents ever. After all, even the smallest boiler accident, barely significant on a national or international scale, could be the most tragic if the victim is a loved one. Though the tragedies of the past are certainly difficult to evaluate, in each instance in the past, we can take at least some small comfort in the fact that the loss of life was not completely in vain. Out of the ashes of death and destruction arose necessary safeguards and in some cases even legislation to protect the future generations from tragedy repeating. If you were to revisit America's history of industry, you would realize it is one of the most violent and destructive periods. A revolution that saw the annual death of 50,000 human beings and injuries to more than 2 million others. Yet the revolution yielded no wars. It generated no gunfire. It was simply the manifestation of indifference. And by whom that indifference was altered in one of the most compelling stories in the industrialized era. It is the story of the National Board of Boilers and the pressure vessel inspectors and the need for such inspectors and controlled standards with qualified operators. In the late 1800s to the early 1900s, managers in the industry who owned or ran industrial concerns simply assumed that sooner or later their boilers would explode. They simply accepted the fact that they would lose their boiler operator and perhaps one or two other workers. 1880. American Society of Mechanical Engineers founded where engineers start grouping together looking at safety requirements. 1865 The worst steam explosion ever. The Mississippi Steamboat Sultana Steam Boiler explosion kills 1,800 people. 
the National Board of Boiler and Pressure Vessel Inspectors founded. 1915, ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code published. 1921, first general meeting of the National Board, Detroit, Michigan. 1933, jurisdictions authorized National Board Commission Inspector for inspection of the in-service of boilers. 1935, National Board begins capacity testing of safety valves and devices. 1939, first book published by the National Board Safety Valve Capacity Test. 1946, National Board Inspection Code first published. 1955, National Board first headquarters. 1970, National Board developed three repair symbol stamps, R, VR, and NR. So we could say that we have started publishing safety in the last 40 years on manufacturing and repairs on boilers. So this leads us up to this and 2011 to ask ourselves a few questions. Do you have qualified operators in your facility? Do you know what the boiler operator's levels of qualifications are? Are your boiler operators meeting all the safety requirements set forth by the nation's boiler divisions or the ASME codes? Are your boiler systems running as cost efficient as they can with today's high fuel cost? We will address these issues as we take you through our boiler operator one and two seminars. Our basic course is set up around four target areas for the operator. Feed water system, fuel system and combustion, draft system, steam system. In boiler level one, the student will learn Principles of boilers, pressure and heat. Basic of boilers to include fire tube boilers, water tube boilers, cast iron boilers, boiler safety issues, regulatory organizations, metallurgical issues, welded constructions and boiler configuration, calculations for steam generation and efficiencies, pressure measurement, pressure control, safety valves, boiler vents, steam quality, Valves and piping, condensate and gas removal, superheaters, level controls and indicating devices, level alarms and safety devices, pump theory and principles, feed water and makeup water principles, introduction to water treatment principles, cavitations of pumps, furnace fundamentals, fuel selection fuel oils, coals, as well as combustion challenges. Combustion, heat transfer efficiency, boiler maintenance. Measurement and control of natural and mechanical draft. Makeup air requirements. Stack emissions. Boiler system optimization. This applied in our hands-on lab to understand the service and maintenance of the boiler plus the daily checks that are required. The advanced course will take the operator up to the service tech level to understand the yearly inspections and drive home the areas of efficiency where money is lost in poor maintenance. We will show conversions relay logic to process logic for controls. Construction and design standards. ASME codes. NFPA codes. NBIC code, controls and safety devices for automatically fired boilers, advanced water level control, process temperature control, pressure control, fuel trains and controls, inspection and maintenance of commercial and industrial boilers, fireside, waterside, burner, Auxiliary Equipment Boiler and Burner Efficiency Heat Exchanger Efficiency Combustion Efficiency Efficiency Tests Condescent Return Steam Trap Service and PM Program This will help the student understand how computer controls can help in emissions and how to be in compliance with EPA regulations and state emissions. Steam traps and condensation return systems will support the completion of this seminar. 
GCAP has crafted a program that is both challenging and informative to new or experienced operators. With the aid of five live high and low pressure industrial boiler operating systems, GCAP provides both classroom and hands-on training for operators to show real live experience in startup and shutdown of equipment safety. This enables the student to see the consequences of what might happen if they do not follow established procedures. Our training combines 50% classroom instruction with 50% in lab working with and troubleshooting live steam generating equipment. This will allow us to pull everything together for our techs. On some cases, the efficiency of steam boilers is as high as 85%, but average efficiencies are often much lower. Efficiency measures that exist for boilers and distribution systems is included in these courses about improved insulation, combustion controls, leak repair, improved steam traps and condensate recovery, our involvement with EPA, EPA's emission standard, OSHA, and our state and national board inspection. It will bring a sense of comfort to know your plant has established a process and is built around proven safety standards. This course will bring outstanding opportunities, personal satisfaction, and personal rewards associated with our origination. Instructors will work with the operator with efficiency in the classroom and will help with the demonstration of the correct O2, CO2, and NOx with the correct draft of the stack. A daily checklist will ensure proper settings are kept by the in-house tech and consequences of improper settings kept at a minimum. We will share a successful preventive maintenance program that you can set up at your plant. During the past five years, state inspectors for unfired vessels and boilers have been responsible for preventing more than 300,000 incidents by identifying and requiring correction of code safety violations inside the United States. How many near-miss incidents do you think could still be out there? All courses are 32 hours of contact time and begin at 8 a.m. each morning, Monday through Thursday. This schedule allows for the student to travel back home on Friday after the conclusion of each course. All supplies, transportation to and from the hotel, and a noon meal each day are included in the enrollment fee. Randy Williams is known as one of the top industrial training developers. Your employees will benefit from his experience where he combines motivating lectures and hands-on demonstrations. It would be our pleasure to take your operators and facilities into the future by giving them the tools needed to prosper in today's economy. After the completion of the boiler operation, maintenance and safety class, students will receive a certificate of completion and 3.6 CEUs, continuing education units. This GCAP certification ensures the student has completed the necessary requirements by demonstrating they can operate under specific safety and operational standards. In addition, this instruction will also help students prepare for licensing exams, meet continuing education requirements, maintenance, or provide increased preventive maintenance and safety knowledge for the already licensed or approved individuals. Please check with your local licensing authorities to understand licensing laws that may affect you in your area. At this time, most states have different requirements. Our instructors are seasoned veterans with years of real-world experience. Each instructor must go through an intense internship and 500 hours of instructor certifications with GCAP. In addition to training, our instructors are very active helping improve boiler safety. You may find them working with the Department of Labor with code enforcement or sponsoring a safety and health conference for boiler safety. Currently, they are all lobbying for a national certification program to help with consistent training standards across the United States. Our split components and training cards, and with live equipment, helps the students who attend our seminars to get more from a single week of training than an entire year of reading textbooks or watching videos. This fact is provided by follow-up interviews from our operators that have attended. Mark Twain stated once, I have never let my schooling interfere with my education. More information is on our website at www.boilerlicense.com or you can find it at www.ammoniatraining.com. iPod or computer-based training can be found at www.gcatcoolcast.com.